Awesome. Well, thank you everybody for coming. My name is Justin Paulson. I think I recognize almost every face in the room, but for those of you who don't know me, I've lived on Orcas for a little over 20 years. I've been in San Juan County for about 24 years. I had a stint where I left the island and went and worked down south, chasing construction work up and down the I-5 corridor. Um, everybody, I think everybody here knows my wife, who is way more famous than me. Um, and that's the reason. That's the reason why I am still on the island. When I came here to do work for Opal and build their offices and apartments, um, I met her, and I'm stuck. Can't can't go away. We lucky have, you. Uh, yes, lucky me. I'm not so sure how she feels about it. Um, <laughs> we have um, we have five children. I have two grandchildren currently. I will have a third grandchildren child in December, and I will have a fourth grandchild in April. So, needless to say, it's happening. Um, I'm I'm running for this office because ever thanks to my wife, um, I got sucked into public service. She runs a nonprofit, and when you're married to somebody who runs a nonprofit. You get to do everything, from building the buildings to plunging the toilets to sometimes being a preschool teacher, which I am not qualified to do. Um, and through that progression, I've, I've worked in public service doing a lot of other things. I've been a, a commissioner for Orcas Park and Rec District for a little over 10 years, I believe, now. Um, I've been on the Ferry Advisory Committee for four years. I'm currently the chair of that committee. Um, I worked on the board of Orcas Family Health. Uh, recently was a uh, start of, I'm, I'm a founding board member of Recovery and Community, which serves to connect um, individuals seeking rehabilitation services in our community with those resources off of the island um, so that we can bring people back to health. Um, and so this was the next, next, next natural progression for me. Um, to the question, what is my number one priority coming into the county council? is absolutely nothing flashy, but it is what I consider very fundamental, and that is bringing the county staff, the other electeds, the uh, department heads, and bringing everybody together and reopening dialogue and reopening communication within those departments, because right now over at the county, there is some fragmentation that needs to be fixed. There is some damage that has been done over there that needs to be healed. And so the first thing coming in as an elected official, as the as one of the top legislators in that, in that organization, is to make sure that we reset. And we are starting from a really good spot. Anybody who has had to deal with the county permitting department, anybody who has seen some of the processes that we've had over the years, um, has seen the communication as an issue. So my first priority coming in is to reunite our county departments, reunite our county staff, so that we can start from 